The government under Obama is suing a trucking company. Why? They fired an alcoholic driver. Now, all we hear every day is you shouldn't drive when you're drunk, which you know is true. Don't drive drunk, right? So they took the keys away from an alcoholic driver, and the Obama administration is suing the trucking company, saying that they violated the Americans with Disabilities Act. I'm not making this up. This is something that you, you cannot believe this. The lawsuit is against the Old Dominion Freight Line Truck Company based in North Carolina. Do you hear this? Can you believe a thing like this? And he's an alcoholic now. So they said, okay, you can't drive. We're taking away your keys. The um, EEOC said, oh, no, you can't do that because you're violating the ADA. And here is what the, uh, uh, the government has said to the trucking company. We're suing you for monetary relief in the form of reinstatement to a driving position. That's for the drunk driver. Back pay, compensatory and punitive damages, compensation for lost benefits for two drivers, and an injunction against future discrimination. And that's because the Obama ADA mandates that pe persons with disabilities, and by the way, being a drunk is a disability, have an equal opportunity to achieve in the workplace. I have said to you before the EEOC should be eliminated in this country. Everybody wants equal employment opportunity, but nobody wants insanity in an environment like this. So the EEOC's director, Catherine Corus, K-O-R-E-S, director of the EEOC's Memphis District Office, says while the EEOC agrees that an employer's concern regarding safety on our highways is a legitimate issue, an employer can both ensure safety and comply with the ADA. So I guess that means that the Obama administration would like them to hire a half-drunk. And, I mean, that's there's a compromise for you, right? In other words, if he's a full drunk, we don't want him on the road, the Obama administration would say. But if he's a half-drunk, give him the keys back. How's that for government red tape? Now you understand why the business climate in America is where it's at. When you have a group of eggheads running the country who are at odds with reality, you have what you have now, which is a nightmare. So I'm trying to explain to you why there are no jobs, no new jobs in America. This is a microcosm of what's wrong with the egghead administration that we have right now, which is that one, one, one division of uh, one, one arm of the uh, octopus says, go ahead and fire people who are alcoholic drivers. The other arm of the Obama octopus says, we're going to sue you if you fire him because you're violating his ADA rights. Nobody can function in an environment like this.